Welcome to Arch Labs again. I'm pressing Ctrl-T, which is going to show you some information about the system. And then we're going to, going to customize the system. So the way it looks now, it can be changed. For instance, the wallpaper is quite invasive already. We have this wallpaper up here. A variety in, is in, uh, a selector or a provider of a changer of wallpapers. And you can go to the wallpaper selector, for instance, and you can select this little beautiful woman that has been downloaded already. So it's not part of the collection of Arch Labs, but Variety is getting their uh, images from desktopper.co. So it's a uh, source for to get uh, wallpapers, and it's quite interesting. Just take a look at the website and uh, become a member, and then you can add all the white wallpapers you like and love at your Dropbox account. There is another one that may be interesting. I will do what you want to do so I can do what you can't tomorrow. Okay, fine. Let's leave this one. So right mouse click and it's closed again. So this is a variety program. There's a complete tutorial about a variety on ericdupartal.pe. So I'm not going to go into the details about preferences and all that. So we have a wallpaper. Fine. Right mouse click. What can we change as well? We need to have, let's open the file manager first. This is Tunar. This is the standard uh, look, but you can change into anything. Of, uh, an icon theme can be changed. So we going to go to XFCE appearance, Y XFCE. This is Tunar and Tunar is part of XFCE 4. So we need to go to this one. And as you can see, we have lots of possibilities, lots of colors you, for the themes lots of possibilities for the icons there are some fonts we can change I always change the size a little bit higher that's uh, due to h and then we can change it to for instance art theme or epapyrus or fava fava mono so we'll just go over anything you like papyrus light as well as a very nice one sardi Icons, Sardi Ghost icons, Mono Papyrus, Surfing Arch Labs, just Surfing, a little bit red, some more color, gray, vertex, anything goes. I'm gonna go with Papyrus Dark today, like so. And let's combine it with something as well, dark. And we can go to, for instance, Arc Polo Dark and see how that looks. But as you can see, this gray border still uh, remains. That's something we have to fix somewhere else. So we have here Arc Polo, but there is also Arc Papyrus Dark, which is actually the same blue as this one. But if you want to have some difference between the other blue and this blue, it's a slight difference in color. So, we, But we do have an Arc Papyrus Dark. What else? Um, yeah, that's uh, all set here. So just is XFC. E XFCE4. As you can see, this is still gray. So we have to go further into Alex Appearance, which is going to set other parts of uh, open box. So this is already set. Arc Papyrus is dark. The size is a little bit bigger. That's okay. Color, icon theme, Papyrus is dark. Fine. Mouse cursor. I like my breeze snow. So I'm going to apply this one. Window border. That's why it's gray. It's still the Bunsen one. So now we're gonna go down or up and you just choose whatever you want. I think we were going for the Papyrus Dark, which is this one. And we can apply it and it looks quite nice. And if you can see, Compton is taking care of this border here, which is a little bit transparent, which is quite awesome. So anything else? I don't think we can set anything else here. Everything is set now. So we can close this up, right mouse click. It's blue in the meantime, so the menu is a little bit changed. The colors has changed, but it's a bit small for my taste. Again, H issues. So I go to preferences and we have also the open box GUI configuration tool. And there you can change as well some th things around, like for instance, the menu header I put it to 11 and this one as well to 11 and then I'm more comfortable and for the rest I think 
everything changes, does not change, everything stays the same. And look at my menu now, it's a little bit bigger and the colors have been changed due to the Alex appearance, the borders. And there we go, we have now changed our system a little bit the way we want it. This is our system, these are our choices, our Papyrus Dark, Icons Papyrus Dark and this is Termite giving us the information. That concludes the tutorial about icons and themes. Um, I do think I was complete. There is maybe one other issue. So we have talked about this one, that one, and about this one. The other thing that might pop up, and then you have to know that of course, Windows Shift D, QT, Config, Remember this name, the Qt config dash Qt4. And sometimes we have to change it here as well. If something is out of the order, out, out of order, or icons are too, uh, not, not up to the size, not good or anything that goes wrong, it's in here. But as for the Qt programs, you can save it and then exit later. So that concludes our tutorial.